Hi, I'm Jamil and this is a Jamilist update. The world has received not one but two amazing pieces of crypto positive news today in the move towards mainstream adoption. This is a very important and urgent update for everyone because it affects the economy and your money. The new digital monetary system that is crypto just got a big boost from one of the most forward-thinking city leaders in the world. I just posted a video today about the regulation that the UAE has begun to put into place to help companies and individuals use crypto. And just now, Dubai, the city where I live, has approved a virtual assets law. The ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, announced on his personal Twitter, Today, we approved the virtual assets law and established the Dubai Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority. A step that establishes the UAE's position in this sector. The authority will cooperate with all related entities to ensure maximum transparency and security for investors. Here we go. The goal of the Dubai Securities and Exchange Higher Committee is to establish the UAE and Dubai's position as a key player in designing the future of virtual assets globally. The tasks that this authority will look after include organizing and issuing and trading of virtual assets and virtual tokens, organizing and authorizing virtual asset service providers, and to ensure the highest standards of protection for beneficiaries' personal data, organizing the operation of virtual asset platforms and portfolios, and to monitor transactions and prevent virtual assets being manipulated. Growth in crypto fortunes comes mainly from adoption. You buy low, many more people buy in, and it goes high. So better legal frameworks will not phase people who are in crypto for the right reasons. This is why they address the activities that they want to regulate to protect consumers. So the activities subject to the authorization and control of the authority are operating and managing virtual assets platforms, exchange services between one or more forms of virtual assets, virtual asset custody and management services, exchange services between virtual assets and currencies, virtual asset transfer services, and virtual asset management services. To be clear, this does not mean centralization. Bitcoin cannot be privatized. It is permanently public and worldwide. Same, same with many other projects. However, regulation is for the consumer and company protection with the fastest growing asset class in human history. So that's one part. Now for the second piece of news, Binance. You should already know that CZ made Dubai the HQ of this company. Now, Bloomberg announced that Binance Holdings Limited is in talks over a license to operate in Dubai, further bolstering its presence in the Middle East. The firm is in discussions with the Dubai World Trade Center Free Zone for a virtual asset service provider license. Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by trading volume, has already received in principle approval from Bahrain's central bank to be a crypto asset provider in the kingdom. For Dubai, the move is part of the efforts to attract some of the world's biggest crypto companies. The United Arab Emirates, of which Dubai is a part, is poised to issue federal licenses for virtual asset service providers. Today is a historic day. Even the White House announced President Biden is to sign an executive order on ensuring responsible innovation in digital assets, whatever that means. But it's positive. If you are a crypto company, you now have access to a new home. Share this with someone you think needs to hear some good news. Welcome to Dubai. Welcome to Abu Dhabi. Welcome to the United Arab Emirates. Like and subscribe to Jamilis on YouTube and get in touch through Metcalf.com.